Friends, how's it going? We have another Die in Light 2 Stay Human patch coming out to us today. And before we do begin, I do want to say I'll be hosting a charity stream on March 5th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so mark your calendars. Today, we have another update for Die in Light 2 Stay Human. It's a new patch that just came out. Of course, it is coming out on PC first, and then it'll go ahead and be released on the consoles at a later time. Now, I believe that this patch is patch 1.0.7, meaning that the consoles are exactly two or three versions behind at this point, so do take that into consideration. We're gonna go over all the changes very quickly here. There are a lot of fixes for the death loop animation. It seems to mostly been resolved, and they're putting in some extra precautions to ensure that it doesn't happen. So, first things first. Fix for the death loop bug, it prevents players from new cases and fixes the existing ones. And I think what is by far my favorite out of this update is that they added a backup save system that allows players to roll back the game progress and their inventory to the last game secure storyline save point. This is like a much needed feature as you know, Dying Light 2, it doesn't really have the manual save, doesn't really have backup saves on any other platforms. I mean you could go into the PC files and mess around with it, but it's not exactly the ideal way to do it. It's not exactly the official way to do it, but that was an option to do for the longest time. It says right here that the backup save system is an in-game feature that allows you to load a save based on the previous main storyline progress. Doing a rollback will revert you to a state of the game from that backup save. You unlock new backup saves as you progress throughout the main story. And then lastly, we also have that they added support for the block, active landing, and jump attack rebindings on the keyboard. And this was always something that I really wanted since the game did launch. There was like a lack of key binding customization on PC and also the consoles too. I was pretty turned away when I saw that I couldn't change my active landing because in the original Dying Light, I had it bound to one of the keys on my mouse. And it comes in handy when you have it right there. So it seems like a majority of the death loop bugs and glitches have been resolved, at least on PC. I know consoles are going to continue to have these issues until all the patches go through submission. It takes a little bit of time for Sony and Microsoft to approve these patches. I think with the last update, it took them around five days to approve it. Considering today is the 16th, I'm expecting it to be on there by maybe the 21st. That would be the absolute earliest. But yeah, that's everything that I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff for me. Thank you Swift, Storm, Warhog, and Decent for being my true patrons and ultimate champions. And with all that said, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.